Hello, I have a pleasure to be with you. Um, this is uh, Omari's Room, aka the Icon. It's uh, called Come Study With Me. Today we're talking about Jacob and Esau, the twins at war. We're going to talk about Jacob's surprise wife. And we're going to talk about um, the goodbye to goodbye to Labian and the hello to Esau. And then we're going to talk about the setting the little brother Joseph tomorrow. Okay, Jacob and Esau, twins at war. Rebecca became pregnant with twins, but the two children struggled with each other in her room. This is Genesis chapter 25, verses, uh, verses 21 and 22. Isaac marries Rebecca, who became pregnant with twins, Jacob and Esau. They wrestled so much in her uterus that Rebecca asked God, Why is this happening to me? The sons in your room will become two nations God answers from the very beginning the two nations will be rivals one nation will be stronger than the other and in your older son will serve your younger son perhaps that's why the number two son Jacob who are born one moment one moment after Esau became her favorite um, Papa Isaac preferred Esau the red the red-haired hunter who but who brings home savory meat jacob cheats esau out of two of the most valuable things in ancient life this is his his inheritance and the deathbed blessing of the father esau in what reads like one of the dumbest acts in the bible willing to trade his rich inheritance for a bowl of hot soup as the oldest son he gets a double share of of the family estate but so perhaps what he trades is only the, the, his rights as the oldest son while retaining a single share in either case the soup is overpriced and the, the story reads like a setup as though Jacob, Jacob waited just for the right time when Esau came home from, from a hunt exhausted and starving Later, Jacob intends to give his deathbed blessing to Esau. Oh, no. Later, Isaac. I don't know why I said Jacob. Later, Isaac intends to give his deathbed blessing to Esau. The blessing will put Esau in charge of the family, and it will call on God to bless Esau with power, uh, prestige, and wealth. Isaac thinks of this blessing as more than a prayer it's a promise that he accepts god to bring to life for esau i don't know why i can't read right now well i can't read i can't read read period um it's not to happen rebecca helps jacob trick the blind old isaac into thinking jacob is esau convinced isaac blessing and blesses the wrong son with words he can't take back. When Esau shows up later, the only words left for him sounds more like a curse than a blessing. You will live away from the riches of the earth and away from the dew of the heaven above. Genesis chapter 27 verse 39. Esau vows to kill Jacob as soon as their father dies. So Jacob leaves the country and hits north to a home of his mother's brother, Laban. Uncle Laban lives un along the border of what is now Turkey and Syria. Jacob's surprised wife. There was no sparkle in uh, Leah's eyes, well, Leah's eyes, but Rachel well, had a beautiful figure and a lovely face. Since Jacob was in love with Rachel, he told her father, I will work for you for seven years if I, if you'll give me Rachel, your younger daughter, as my wife. That's Genesis chapter 29, verses 17 to 18. Women are property in Jacob world, Jacob's world. And they pass from father to husband as a business transaction. The father loses a household worker, so he accepts some compensation for his loss. Jacob falls in love with the gorgeous Rachel. She's his first cousin. Okay, that's some ancestors. She's his first cousin and Lavian's uh, number two daughter. Unfortunately, 
Jacob had left home in a hurry without any of his father's substantial assets, most of which had four legs and eat grass. Uh, so Jacob offers to work seven years for Libyan as payment for Rachel. It's a deal. Seven years later, Jacob gets a prize of his life. Uh, seven years later, Jacob, uh, Jacob gets the surprise of his life, the surprise of his wife. On the morning of the first day of the rest of his life, as Jacob, as a married man, Jacob wakes up in bed with the wrong woman, Leah. How did Jacob managed to get through the wedding ceremony, the dinner party, the night of lovemaking without taking a look at his wife, I mean, at his surprise bride, is a wonder. This might suggest a nighttime ceremony, a thick veil over the bride, and a lot of wine inside the groom. Sober by some sunrise, Jacob storms off to leave him. The cheat who cheated the cheater. Ha! <laughs> the cheat who cheated the cheater. Laban simply explains it's the custom to marry off the oldest daughter first. But apparently, it's not a custom to mention the custom ahead of time. Jacob agrees to finish out the, tra 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 the traditional week of wedding celebration. It's out of respect for Le Leah, who must have felt horribly used. At, at week's end, Jacob marries Rachel, but only after committing to another seven years of labor for Laban, the only winner in this deal. Miss, Mrs. Brody and Mrs. Beast, Mrs. Beauty and Mrs. and Mrs. Beast, Jacob worked seven years for a privilege to marry Rachel, a beautiful young woman. But Rachel's father pulls a wedding day switcheroo. Jacob wakes up the next morning with Rachel's older sister, Leah. She has weak and glazed over eyes. Um, though scholars aren't sure what to make of that. Whatever it means, whatever it means, it seems intended to flip as a flip side of Rachel's description. If Rachel's the beauty, Leah's the beast. That's fucked up. Okay. Goodbye, Laban, hello, Esau. Jacob put his wives and children on camels and drove all his livestock in front of him. He packed all the belongings he had acquired and set out for the, the land of Canaan, where his father Isaac lived. This is Genesis chapter 31, verse 17 through 18. Working as a shepherd, Jacob, only, Jacob not only managed to make uh, Lay being rich, Jacob gets rich too. Not only in hers, but in children. Thirteen of them. You know, he had twelve boys and one daughter. Um, yeah, he had one daughter. That should pass the hell out of me. Um, wealth in ancient times is measured partly by the, the size of the family. The bigger the family, the more workers you have. And when they get grow up, the more security you have in your age. Jacob ends up with a, with with this many children because of his dueling wives. They compete for his affection by trying to get him sons. J uh, God takes pity on Leah because Jacob doesn't love her like he does Rachel. So God allows her to have six sons and a daughter. Leah also gives Jacob her maid as a surrogate mother who provides two more sons, Rachel and Fertile, just like Rebecca and just like um, Abraham's wife. Um, it's for, they, they was infertile. Um, and, okay, um, for years, offers her maid as well and gets two sons. In time, Rachel has two sons in her own, uh, of her own. Jacob's favorite boys, Joseph first and then Benjamin, who was born on the in, on a on a road trip back to Kenya. Well, his 14, 14 years served and another six used to build his own flocks. Jacob hears for home, but he's terrified of Esau. The night before crossing into Kenya, he sends his family ahead, intending to spend some more time alone. A mysterious man ar arrives. Somehow, Jacob seems to recognize this man as a being with power to influence the future. Jacob grabs hold of the man, who many Bible experts say is either an angel or God 
in human form. Jacob says, I will not let you go unless you bless me. That's Genesis chapter 32, uh, verse 26. After that all night struggle, the man finally blesses Jacob and gives him a new name, Israel. It means God struggles, or who, or one who struggles with God. Centuries later, Jacob's descendants will take the name from, for their nation. With Esau ahead, Jacob sends wave after wave of gifts for his brother. Hundreds of prime livestock delivered by a corpse of herders. The hoarders return with news that Esau is coming with an army of 400 men. Esau, boy! Jacob arranged his family in the columns, putting his beloved Rachel and the young Joseph at the back. Benjamin isn't born yet. Jacob walks ahead of his entire family and bows to his brother. Esau ran to meet him and embraced him, threw his arms around his neck and kissed him, and they both wept. Genesis chapter 33. Verse 4, um, Jacob settles in Canaan, where he had grown up. Esau moved into what is now Jordan, and, he, and the land takes his nickname, Edom, which means red. Thank you for studying with me. Um, I know I can't read that well, but thank you for bearing. You know, if I learn, the world got to learn too. That's how I am, because I am the icon. Um, God loves you, Jesus loves you, and God love you, Jesus love you, and I love you. Like and subscribe. Thank you.